Hi, I'm Rahul Singh, CEO of Equities at Tata Mutual Fund. Hope all of you had a good festival season and spent some valuable time with us. As all of you know, markets have been strong last few months, led by economic and profit recovery, strong reform momentum, and lower interest rates. However, the most important development has been the revival in the investment side, both at the household level, led by real estate, as well as the corporate level. There are multiple drivers of the investment cycle in the form of supportive fiscal policy, willingness of the banks to lend and willingness of the corporate sector to invest, given strong cash flows and low level of debt on the corporate balance sheets. This has the potential for the manufacturing sector to start delivering in addition to the sectors that have already been doing well, like IT services, discretionary consumption and power. However, Valuations are now much above their historical mean, even adjusting for the lower rates and global risks in the form of inflation will always be lurking, which can reduce the attractiveness of equities. Domestically speaking, crude prices and sustenance of the domestic consumer demand is key for sustaining the corporate profit growth and the markets. In addition to the above risks, investor returns generally have been less than fund returns due to the emotional reactions which investors have towards the markets. Surprisingly, we are constantly faced with the questions on what should be the strategy for an investor going forward, both for a new investor as well as for someone who is fully invested. In times like these, when the markets are above fair value but not significantly overvalued, risk management and asset allocation become key. And this is true for all types of investors. Even while we remain invested to capture the long-term upside from equities, given the structural changes, it becomes imperative for everyone to keep their asset allocation tight and according to their own risk appetite. And that is where Tata Balance Advantage Fund comes. Tata Balance Advantage Fund is currently following a model which is unique as it combines price earnings based valuation bands with other momentum and technical indicators to optimize the risk and returns from the now, let me explain the two key differentiating features of our BAF model, which help towards a better risk adjusted return for the investor. One, it takes into account the forward price earnings ratio multiple in addition to the trailing price earnings multiple, which we believe factors in the changing earnings outlook in the current financial year and the next financial year, and hence is more accurate representation of how market behaves versus only looking at a backward-looking P ratio. Second, we have also built a rule-based additional liquidity allocation or deduction of up to 10% using a combination of factors like volatility, momentum, and global markets. We believe that using these indicators makes the model more robust by taking cognizance of the technical factors in addition to the fundamental P ratio-based equity exposure bank. This unique composite model has helped us right through 2020 and 21, which was witness to extreme swings in the sentiment. And Tata Balance Advantage Fund has performed very well not only during 2020, but also during the subsequent recovery period after that. We are very confident that the model will be able to withstand any such future volatility and in fact would be proactively able to manage that. Thank you and all the best. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.